Okay, so th this one right here. Right under here. All right. What are you guys doing? Oh, just making a couple adjustments. What adjustments? Jake and I are developing an accelerated hyphen doofinator to get the airplane launcher yeah, a the, little more juice. This right here. Uh, hyphen doofinator. You guys know that's not a real thing, right? We, we developed it. Yeah, you, it's, it's you new. You developed it? It's new. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That well, is impressive. We're working what on the What are you doing with my glasses? I feel smarter. Let me have my glasses, glasses back. <sighs> yeah, There's a reason why you guys don't develop the projects. Let's, uh, let's, the, the, let's go again. Okay, we're close. Yeah, I think it needs to not go straight down. Just launch it this way. Hi, it's Richie in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of our next project. In the past couple of months, we've received a few requests for a little bow and arrow project. I thought that would be a lot of fun. So I've been working on a couple of different designs and I've come up with one that I'm really happy with. So project number 55 is the Sonic Mini Longbow. It's going to be a skill level three, about a one hour build. The bow is made from skinny popsicle sticks, some metal hair barrettes, and some embroidery floss. The arrows are made from wood dowels and some foam earplugs. I've got a couple of the prototypes here that I've used to develop this project. You'll notice that the limbs of the bow are the metal hair barrettes. You might have also noticed that the center section is missing there. I wanted to show you how that's removed. It's pretty simple. So these barrettes are made from spring steel. So if you just take that center piece and you bend it over like this, it will snap off right at the root very clean and that becomes one of the limbs of your bow. And uh, you'll notice here that the skinny popsicle sticks are on each side of the limbs. Uh, you use hot glue to attach them to the limbs and that holds them very securely in place. You'll also notice on this finished bow, I've got a little arrow rest on the side and that's made from a piece of the eighth inch dowel. And uh, there is no painting required in this project. After you have the handle attached and you glue the arrow rest to the side, you can just take a black marker like a Sharpie and color all of the wood so that it's black. And I also like to take uh, some of the embroidery floss and tightly wrap it around the handle. And uh, I also use embroidery floss for the string. One nice thing about these barrettes is the rivet has a little hole in them. So uh, that makes it easy to string the bow. And then I like to put a little dab of hot glue on the knot to hold them in place. The other nice thing about the embroidery floss is that you can uh, create your bows in any color you want. A couple of examples here. So the arrow, as I mentioned, is made from a wood dowel. And then you cut the uh, foam ear plug in half and then use some hot glue to attach it to the arrow shaft. And uh, that foam ear plug gives you a nice little tip to keep things safe. So to uh, shoot the bow, this is a right-handed bow, so I hold it in my right hand, and then I'm going to draw the arrow back with my left. I'll point it over at this camera over here, and let it rip. So there you have it. That's project number 55, the Sonic Mini Longbow. I had a lot of fun developing this project and going through all the iterations to uh, perfect it, make it work well. So I really hope you have fun building it. If you like what we do, like us on Facebook and like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support. Until next time, I'm Richie with SonicDad.com. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, I got that <laughs> coke. That coke. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, stop it. Stop. Hey, listen. Okay, I feel better. Ready?